Well, now the fun part starts, guys. Uh, let's let's take a look at uh, at at uh, uh, writing a real driver I mean, in in C sharp. And language is not very important uh, if you got an understanding of uh, the electronics which is going behind the protocol itself and the hardware you can you can uh, write it uh, yourself and doesn't matter doesn't really matter whether you are on a platform uh, whether you're on a Java platform or or uh, C++ or C sharp doesn't really matter here I'm, I'm doing C sharp here at the moment my language of preference for some reason is QTC++ because that lets me allow that really lets me that really lets me uh, work on um, Linux operating system uh, because it's it's free and, and uh, if you're doing all this hassles making your own SCADA program wouldn't that be great if, if <coughs> You're not buying your own operating system also so that you can the cost of uh, making that that machine goes you know, down by little by by few more bucks and if you if you are on qt <clears throat> the advantage is that you can use great linux operating systems that <clears throat> that that uh, allows you to save few bucks yeah so but but for some reason i also like c sharp it's it's a neat language it really i'm really impressed it's a pretty neat language yeah, i'm not a great fan of java for some reason bb i literally hate but yeah c sharp and c plus plus qd c plus plus is is my favorite language of choice because it's it's like it gives you a free complete sort of environment where you can write your own software you know GUI everything just about everything uh, yeah and and this is this is these are the libraries I have important system system text I mean I've got IO port because I'm using serial port and threading is because I don't want my uh, main application to hang while while calling these uh, drivers and and uh, I've got a read analog, analog input uh, static uh, class and I'm 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 doing function zero three. Oh, is it function zero three? Is it function zero three? Yeah, I'm a little, little confused myself. Is what they call it? Reading analog input. Is it zero three? Uh, 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 just a minute just a minute where is that function 3 yeah function 3 is for reading holding registers and 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 and, and just give me a minute Well, it out. Uh, this should not be function zero three, because function zero three is reading, uh, reading uh, zero three is reading holding registers. I right? reading uh, where is analog input reading input registers. This should be zero four. Sorry, there is a mistake there. It should be read, it should be zero four here. Okay. Uh, so. Ah, well, this is where I've got all my privates. Okay, so starting address, ID, these are gated sets. Okay, because they're they are visible inside the class only. Serial port is I get from outside. Get and set number of input gets and set get and set. I'm, I'm calling it U short because uh, I'm expecting only two bytes data. Okay, and then the the success is is boolean. Uh, it's it's private set because only I want. Uh, it to be settable from inside inside the class and this is this 
messages the user friendly message i'm trying to give to the user you know calling those functions in case anything went wrong well uh, so this is the base method uh, again static uh, public u short this is the byte array this is the data i'm trying to return to the main uh, program user program i'm asking for uh, id device id big uh, starting address number they want to be reading uh, values from u short number of bytes they want to be reading from the starting address and this is the serial port you know they'd be using again i'm setting it i'm taking all these values and putting into uh, the class values and and then i'm i'm ex i'm making uh, yeah i got to be knowing how many bytes i'm expecting yeah so this is how i calculate it i know that if i'm if if user is asking for say uh to say say n number of uh, analog input values that means i mix that means i should be expecting 2n plus 5 number of uh, bytes you know once i read these number of bytes then i should know that okay i'm i'm done reading this is the case when uh this is case one when everything goes right if it fails then i'd be getting only 5 bytes which is an exception uh, response from the device and the third case is that i've got a broken communication in that in that case uh, my serial port has to time out okay so um, i'm making a new byte array with these many bytes i'm actually uh, zeroing it out but actually it was not needed third thing is that see i mean i expected in 32 here so i'm really doing the dedu deduction here So I'm deduct deducting the base address. So now I really have that 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 number I'd be showing. I'd be throwing to the slave device. Uh, here I'm I'm adding a, a handler in case anything go goes wrong with with <coughs> my serial port. And this is the function that's that that will be fired. This is the function that will be fired. <coughs> oh, sorry. then if serial port is not opening not opened i am opening it then i'm i'm discarding any you know left out actually it was not needed but just as a precaution discard uh any mm, previous bytes which were there inside the buffer so both out buffer and in buffer are buffers are are, are zeroed out or nulled are are cleared up and then i'm i'm making a request request is area of bytes and this is interesting how do i make request so make request has to be function inside the class which has to request and byte array and and this byte array has to be my request where is my make request function uh, it has to be here where it where is it Ooh. Where did I write that? Where did it go? Yeah, this is my uh, make request function. Actually, it 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 knows that uh, request has to be of eight bytes. If you doubt it, go take a look at the protocol. Then you'll come to know why it's eight. Then then I'm taking the ID and put it putting it here. device id no problems this is 04 uh you can write it like this it's better zero function 04 is read analog uh multiple analog registers then i'm i'm taking the address start address and and really converting it converting it in in bytes and the and and the msb has to be the third byte of my response so i'm writing it here try to visualize it or, or or you should really place my code on one side and then then the protocol piece of paper on the other side so that you can really see why this byte is here okay so and then the lsb of the address comes here just like that i'm i'm, I'm taking my number of bytes converting it, it into a byte array 
into the fourth byte and putting the putting the MSB inside. 